I'm so happy to see you. Welcome back, and thank you for being goat leg, Greg. I yeah, you know I've got goat skin trousers. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, my I goodness. did this with the you rest really of the goat. Method, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask you, because uh, you know, I was reading up about you, and I think you've been acting for over 60 years. Uh, 62 years. Is that unbelievable? Congratulations. Yeah. Since I was 15. 15, and you started uh, working behind the scenes. Yeah, I started. I mean, I, I started... Uh, well, I used to take the money to the bank, ah. which in Dundee was a very dodgy thing to do to get a 15-year-old boy to take the money to the bank because I could have scarpered. Yeah, exactly. You know, and with, the, the, with the takings. And, yeah. uh, so they gave me a lot of trust, and it was a great, it was a great start. And I then I read that you, you were a stage manager. Oh, I was the worst stage manager ever. <laughs> Absolutely I terrible. I thought you'd be great. No, no, I was terrible. I would get bored. I'd be watching, the actors would be acting away, and I'd, I'd be on the book, you know, in, in the wings, in my prompt corner, and I'd be on the book, and I'd be on page 15, yeah. and they'd be on page 21, you know. <laughs> no, yeah, you've got to be on your stuff. I, exactly. So I'm there like this, and there's a tap on the shoulder, and I turn around, and it's the actress, and she says, telephone. I said, for me? She said, no, on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you had to bring the prop. Yeah, that's your job. Go yeah. bring the phone. Bring, bring the, oh, bring yeah, the phone. Hello. Bring the phone. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you, you've, uh, you've obviously started in countless productions of things. I'm sure not everything has gone well uh, with everything. Is there anything that sticks in your mind of a moment of something where you go, that was a nightmare? Yeah, yeah. I, w I actually, when I was 44, I played King Lear at the British National Theatre. Wow. And uh, I had a moment where I had this very voluminous gown and I had to take my crown off, which was a metal crown, and throw it in the wings out of anger. I threw it, but it caught in my costume and it went straight into the front row. And this woman turned to her boyfriend and said, oh, darling, you're covered in red. And she'd cut her head and the blood was all over his shirt. Nobody else could see it because it was in the front row. So I'm thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And uh, <laughs> so I ran, I got off stage and I ran quickly to where the lady was being attended to. And uh, <laughs> she was, she, it was a very minor cut, thank God. And we gave her a free year and her and her boyfriend. <laughs> but, but the follow up was like 20, I think 20 odd years later, I was doing a play in Edinburgh and I got this message saying, I'm bringing a new wife to the show tonight, please do not throw anything because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful, you gotta... Self-defense. Absolutely. <laughs> Last time you were here, we showed a clip where you were uh, teaching a two-year-old uh, Shakespeare. Yeah. And I was, thought that was fantastic. It, do you think that anyone is capable of being an actor? Everybody's an actor. They're all act. Everybody's an actor. I mean, I, I, that's what I've realized. You know, whenever you do something, you act, you know. I mean, even you, when you go to the gym, you probably act that you might be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That's a performance. Thank you. Everybody, everybody acts. It's a thing, you know. Yeah, so we're all actors. We're all actors. We're all actors. So I just merely translate everything that people do. That's yeah. my job. Uh, let's talk about this 007 uh, oh, Road yeah. to a Million thing. I, first of all, I, you know I'm a fan of you, but I am a giant fan of reality shows. I love reality TV. I really, I, everything. You name it, I love it. Below Deck, uh, Housewives, whatever you want me to watch, I'm in. Survivor is my jam. And then you get uh, James Bond, 007, and you get the real people behind the Bond films. Right. Barbara Broccoli? Barbara Broccoli. Well, you see, I, I thought... It was it's called 007, A Road to a Million. I thought it was the new James Bond film. <laughs> so I said, oh, finally, they're getting me in a James Bond movie. <laughs> and I thought... So you, you said know, yes without that. I even... said yes. I thought, yes, of course. Don't even I'm, show me the script. It's going to be the script. Because <laughs> there was no script. No, it's a reality <laughs> and show. And there was no James Bond movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so I was doing this reality show, but... Uh, I because... think you'd be great in James Bond. Well, I know. I mean, she's... she's... <laughs> I know, I mean, I thought, for years, I thought, yeah, I'd love to be a James Bond villain. It'd be really interesting. And I thought, this is my moment. Yeah. But it wasn't. It wasn't, <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, uh, but it is fantastic. The, the, did you enjoy it doing worked. it? It worked, yeah. It's, it was fun. It was great fun. I mean, you know, I love bossing people around, so that's what I did. You know, I bossed all these people around, and they, and they went through so amazing. I mean, it's a really good, good show. I urge you to watch it. Because what's interesting is... Uh, there's there's a there's an Indian couple in it, and they yes. they've found a new relationship in their their marriage because suddenly 
they were able to trust one another after so many years. Yeah. It, was, it was very touching to see. So it was a really, really interesting show. It, it, it's so exciting, and I love it. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Brian Cox in 007, Road to a Million. Take a look. You're now standing on Lascar, one of Chile's most active and fearsome volcanoes. It last erupted low less than a year ago, sending a column of superheated gas and ash four miles into the sky. You'll find the question at the top, beside the crater. At 5,500 meters. And well into the zone where altitude sickness can be devastating. You're gonna need to be especially vigilant on your journey as I have decided that only one of you could ascend the summit. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you do. Brian Cox, everybody! 007, Road to a Million, premieres this Friday on Prime Video. We'll be right back with Baron Morris, everybody stick around. Hey, hey.